everyone! Wow, I haven't said hey guys in videos in a long time. So, in today's video, I'm going to be doing the long-awaited hair growth video that you all have been asking for. Whoa. First, I'm going to start off with the length chart. My waist is right here, my hip is right here, so my hair is like that long. So let's get started. So when I first started YouTube, you all saw that my hair was really, really short. First, it was like this long I think. I cut it really really short because I didn't like having hair touching me. I, I really didn't like it. I still don't like it now but I look fab so it's okay. Oh by the way I got your glasses. ADHD is like kicking in. Yeah so when I cut my hair really really short it was literally up to here and I loved it like that. It was so easy to style. It was just so nice and I just loved it. It was so bouncy and it was just easy it made life easy but then I decided you know I've never had long hair so let me just grow my hair out so when I straighten my hair my hair is like right up to here and that is the longest my hair has ever been so in this video I'm gonna be giving you guys the five main tips to growing your hair long the first tip is to cut off your damaged hair if you have any so if you see any straight pieces or pieces that are not curling at all you need to cut that off because that is heat damage Where did you go? I'm filming hunting sorry about that so the first step is to cut off all of your damaged hair because it will help your hair grow back significantly I used to straighten my hair all the time before I knew that I had really nice curly hair because I used to brush out my hair Hair, which you're not supposed to do and I'm gonna talk about that in like the next three tips so I used to brush it out so I didn't know that it had these really nice curls so it was really wavy and disgusting so I used to just straighten it all the time and I realized that I have so much heat damage because when I did wear my hair curly it'd be curly on top here and then like have really straight pieces if I have any pictures I'm gonna put that in but I really cannot find any of them I've tried my hardest so that is the first step to transitioning or going natural I know you're gonna regret it I know you're gonna miss your long hair but if you want really nice natural hair that is the first thing you're going to need to give up. The second step is to be patient. So I've been growing my hair out for a year and trust me when I first cut it off and when I wanted to grow it long it was really 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 hard because I was like oh my god this is taking so long. If you use these tips if you just have patience you're gonna see a change in your hair. Like one day my hair was really short and the next day I was like wow my hair is actually really long and to me this is really long. Another tip is to have a routine meaning like a curly hair routine products that you always use when you get out the shower. Of course you could switch it up but it's good to have a routine just to know your curl pattern and get to know it better. It sounds like we're talking about like a baby or something. You need to get to know your curl pattern and just remember that everybody has different curl patterns so say you watch a routine on YouTube and you try to follow that. If their hair is really coily and you have hair like mine then it's not going to work because they use different products and they have different textures of hair. So you need to find your ideal routine. So my routine consists of leave-in conditioner and styling product maybe but ever since I started using the Mixed Chicks leave-in conditioner that's the only thing that I use that is like my holy grail product. In the past two months, I've noticed that other leave-in conditioners do not work with my hair. Mixtures leave-in conditioner is my holy grail product, and I'm going to use it for a long time. I just repurchased it yesterday, and my hair is bomb, to be honest. My hair loves that stuff, so you just need to find your ideal curly hair routine. So if you find one and the girl has the same curly hair pattern as you, then, you know, try and go for it. And just don't be afraid to experiment with different products. I forgot to say that one very important tip is to use leave-in conditioner. Leave-in conditioner should be vital in your curly hair routine because it does help to lock in a lot of moisture. The leave-in conditioner will help your hair stay soft and moisturized. Make sure you use leave-in conditioner because it is bomb. My fourth tip is to deep condition and use natural oils. Deep condition means to buy a mask and put it in your hair and just leave it wrapped up for say 30 minutes to an hour or two hours. You know the longer the better to be honest. You just wash it all out and you shampoo your hair and you condition it as usual. So coconut oil is my favorite oil. It's so beneficial to your skin and your hair. What I would do is that I would take any Shea Moisture deep conditioner mask and I would mix it with some oil. I might heat it up but sometimes I don't. So what I do is that say I want to wash my hair on a Friday night I'm not doing anything because I'm antisocial, but mix that together, put it in my scalp, just run it through my hair. Then I would put this thing on and just leave it on for about one or two hours, mostly always an hour because I get lazy and impatient. Or you could put on like a plastic bag or a deep conditioning cap or something. You know, anything honestly works, but deep conditioning is very vital to having curly hair because our hair needs the moisture, our hair is very dry, so deep conditioning will be your hair's best friend. Every week I do this thing where like I clean my face and I clean like every part of me. So while I'm doing that, I would deep condition my hair and you honestly see that time flies by and other oils that I use include castor oil and argan oil. Argan oil helps my hair to feel very, very soft and sometimes I would mix that in with my leave-in conditioner if I notice that my hair is dry or if it's brittle outside, meaning that's cold. And castor oil is what I use in 
instead of coconut oil sometimes to deep condition my hair because castor oil because castor oil does help your hair grow I put it on my eyebrow sometimes and when I put on this eyebrow I noticed that it grew and I only put it on like three times I think I put it on every day for like a week but yeah if you put castor oil in your hair when you're deep conditioning it's going to help your hair significantly and it strengthens it with the proteins that it has the sixth and last step is to avoid using brushes so when I first started my hair growth journey I started watching Sun Alba on YouTube and she taught me that brushes are not good for you at all um, and it's better to finger detangle your hair at first I was like what like that's dirty it's honestly not dirty if you have curly hair it's going to help it so much so cut out the brushes no brushes brushes are horrible for curly hair brushes are a big no-no have you ever seen those things on Twitter it's like when people with straight hair ask why people with wavy slash curly hair don't brush it then it has a picture of like the curly hair then the poofy hair yeah that you don't you don't want that right there that's that's a no. At first, I felt really weird and gross not brushing my hair out because I was so used to it because it would like my scalp feel clean and everything. But you honestly get used to it, and using your fingers is the best way to detangle your hair because it still defines your curl patterns. You don't want any breakage. And if you notice, when you brush your hair, a lot of hair comes out. Why did I just do that? Yeah, a lot of hair comes out. So you want to protect your curls as much as possible. So either using your fingers or some girls they like to use a wide tooth comb, which is also very good because it doesn't break your curl pattern cut out the brushes that cut it out that's like my biggest tip right there the last and final tip is to be patient once again and to love your curls embrace the curl pattern that you have don't try to change it because i wanted those really coily curls like shameless maya and my friend lisette and uh, at first i didn't like my curl pattern but then i got used to it just be patient and kind to your hair because remember that every strand of curly hair that you have is like a little baby begging for I don't know where I heard that. I think I just made that up in my head, but that was really corny. I apologize. But it's also so good. What did I just do? That was rude. I'm filming. I'll clean that up later. I don't even remember what I was saying now. So yeah, just be patient and you will reach your goal. Don't worry. There's also another way that you can grow an inch of hair in a week. It's called the inversion method and my friend Lisette tried it and she said that it worked. So I'll put the link to that video below. And if you want to grow an inch of hair every week or I think it's like one week every month, then you should definitely go watch that. But yeah, those were my main tips to growing long, healthy hair. I'm thinking of doing another curly hair tips video, so comment down below and like this video if you want me to do a video like that because I already have the tips. Yep. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and you guys should go follow me on my social media because I'm always on it and I'm always interacting with you guys. My Instagram and my Twitter are both Leah Aliana and my Ask If I You guys should add me on Snapchat because I... Uh, never mind, my stories are horrible, but you should still go at me. That's it for this video, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace out, guys. Love you. I'm still off when I enter the building.